So today's video is going to be an unboxing. I am going to show you guys some things that I got from Coastal Scents. I've never ordered from Coastal Scents before. I did get a couple of their eyeshadows as a gift, but it was so long ago. So I found out that they had their Hot Pots, which are their eyeshadow singles for 99 cents. 99 cents, like that doesn't compute in my head a dollar for an eyeshadow and I've heard from people that the pigmentation is kind of hit or miss but it's it's good overall sorry I kind of forgot what I was gonna say I've never done an unboxing video before so I don't know if this will be interesting for you but I thought it would be nice to kind of see my first impression sorry I got an itch my first impression on the eyeshadows and yeah I don't know I'm excited to look at them and swatch them so I thought I would do it with you guys. So yeah, let's get started. Don't you just love getting packages? Makes me so excited. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is what I got going on. The first thing, oh, did they give me this for free? Look, it's like a little sample of eyeshadows. It's called Lakeside Breeze. That is so cute, and I like the colors. They're really pretty. Oh, that's exciting. Thank you. Yay. And then I got a little sticker that says, I heart makeup. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And just a little Coastal Sense card. So the first thing, I might as well start with this. I ordered the 10 blush palette. You guys know that I have an issue with blush palettes. I just can't turn them down. I freaking love blush palettes. So this one I had seen Carly Bible use, and it looks so nice. So that's what the packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. You wouldn't ever need to buy blush again. I mean, this pretty much has everything that you need. That is so nice. All right, I'm going to swatch a couple of these, and we'll see how the pigmentation is. Oh, it looks really nice. I swatched these two and this one right here. So yeah, they look really nice. It's hard to tell on your hand. You kind of have to put them on, but this is very nice. Yay. So everything else is going to be the hot pot. Sorry. Oh, look how cute. They put them in this little bag. Oh, I forgot I did order two of their brushes. I just wanted to try them out. They were like $2. So I got the, I don't know what it's called, but it's number BRCN08. This is just like a crease brush. I want to feel it and see if it feels soft. I mean, for two bucks, I don't expect much, but, oh, it feels really soft. So it's just like a bigger crease brush. Oh, yay. And then the other one I got is very similar. This one's a goat hair brush though, and this is the BR250. So this one's very similar to the Sigma E25, which I use every day of my life. These were so inexpensive. If these work well, I am gonna be stocking up. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the eyeshadows. This is the exciting part. Um, I took everything out of the packaging, but I haven't swatched anything, and I have a lot of them, so I'll try to breeze through these. And keep in mind, these were all 99 cents. Just keep that in mind. I'm gonna do all the like taupes and browns first, and then we'll do the colors. So this first one is Sand Dune, and this one is a mid-tone, like a taupey shade, and I think it is a satin finish. Oh, I wasn't expecting that pigmentation. That's really nice. Well, of course, you're not going to see it on my hand. That is really pretty. It has kind of like a gold look to it, like a champagne kind of tone that is really really pretty oh I like that one good start to the eyeshadows yeah yeah this next one is Kodiak and it's a satin finish and it's like an olive green color and it is gorgeous I can't believe how pigmented these are look at that that is so beautiful Oh my gosh, on it kind of also has like a deep gold appearance to it. That is gorgeous. 
So that's Kodiak. Really, really pretty. Yay! This next one is <clears throat> Kokomo Cafe. And this one's a mid-tone brown, totally matte, really, really nice, like, crease color. Mmm. Doesn't seem to be very pigmented. But sometimes for your crease, you don't want it to be too crazy pigmented. I mean, I'll definitely make it work, but it just, it's not like insane pigmentation. Next up is Bermuda Sand. And this one, I think it's matte. And it's just like a tan color. It's a little, let's compare it to the one I just showed you. So this is Kokomo Cafe and Bermuda Sand. So you can see this one has more of like a gray feel to it, where this one's more of like a warm brown. This is cool, this is warm, is pretty much what I should say. Okay, so let's swatch this little guy. Oh, the pigmentation's nice on this one. A lot better than that other one. Yeah, oh, I like that. I like these cool toned browns for in the crease. That's nice. Freaking 99 cents, you better sign me up all day, or day. This is Gypsy Stone. And again, it's a taupey shade, a little bit darker than the other taupe that I had. Pigmentation is really good. I cannot, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Guess I am, they're a freaking dollar. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Yay. I know I got a lot of very similar colors, but I really just wanted to like build up my Z palettes. This one is Southern Wood, and this one's a satin finish, and it's a deep, like, oh, it's really creamy. How would I even describe that? It kind of has like a purpley taupe feel to it. Wow, that is really pretty. You know what? When I swatch it on my hand, though, it looks like a goldish brown. See that? But in the packaging, doesn't it have like a purple appearance to it a little bit? Hmm, interesting, but there it is. Really nice. These are so like velvety soft and creamy. I am very impressed so far. This one is Cherry Moss, and this one, again, has like a gold feel to it. Oh, and it has like an iridescence to it. Ah. So that's it right there. So a little bit darker than the one that we just looked at. Really pretty. Oh gosh, I'm gonna do some fun looks with these babies. This is Burnt Umber, and this is a matte, deep, dark brown. Mm. Pigmentation's good, it's not like slap your mama good. Oh, well that's, I mean, I'd slap my mama over that. I'd slap anybody over that. So yeah, another really nice one. This next one is sun-dried. That's an odd name. It reminds me of a sun-dried tomato. And it does have like a reddish feel to it. Oh, snaps alive. Look at that. How many times have I said look at that? A lot. But freaking look at that. It's really pretty. This one has a like a rose gold feel to it, but it's like a deep rose gold. Mmm, sun-dried, I like you. And the last kind of like a neutral one is Gypsy Gold. And it's a gold color, and it's beautiful. And the pigmentation is really nice. What is this? Oh gosh, that didn't, mmm, hang on. So, it's a really light color, either that or the pigmentation's not that good. But it's hard to tell. Sometimes they swatch totally different than they swatch on your eye or how, you know what I mean, when you put them on, they're totally different than they were on your fingers. So we shall see. If you guys would like to see a get ready with me or some type of tutorial using these little hot pots, just let me know. Okay, now getting into the colors. Well, this one's kind of a neutral. This is dark golden olive, and it's a deep olive green. And it's a satin finish. Ooh, look, it has like iridescence in it. Ah, that is gorgeous. Kind of looks like a hunter green. And it does have a little bit of an iridescence to it. I like this one. I, I just, I ran out of something to say. I just, just wanted to 
Just wanted to stare at myself in the viewfinder. Next up we have, oh this one doesn't have a name, it has a number. You poor little thing. This is HP ME09, so it doesn't have a name. And it's a satin finish and it's a really beautiful, look how beautiful that is. Green, it's green. And look at that shimmer, not shimmer, it's like an iridescent. Oh my gosh. Now that's not an everyday color, but that is, I thought my camera shut off. That is beautiful. Yes, indeed. I will take two. This next one is Jewel Teal, and it's a, none of these are shimmery. They're either satin or matte. I didn't get any, like, shimmery ones. This one's a satin finish, and it's, look at that, it's teal. Now, I know, not an everyday shade, but once in a while, that's kind of fun. Now, this one doesn't appear to be as pigmented, but it's still beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> For summertime, freaking one dollar are you kidding me right now i feel like i'm being punked like i'm gonna get a credit card bill and it's gonna be like five hundred dollars this one is oh this one doesn't have a name either cm11 i'll have all the names down below this one is a matte teal oh yeah that's good pigmentation i'm running out of space yeah that's a nice one I know, I was kind of into teal when I did my ordering. This is so pretty though. Oh, geez. Okay, now getting into the purples. Well, this one's kind of a blue. Indigo Dream is a matte, this is like a navy blue. Wow, really nice pigmentation. Huh. Oh yeah, that is good. I don't have many shades this color. Some of the blues I have are like either black or they're super light. I don't have anything like navy. And the pigmentation on this is really, really nice. Next up, we have probably my favorite one, Little Grapeette. That's such a cute name and just, I love that color. Please have good pigmentation. Eh, it doesn't have the best pigmentation, but I can make that work. Let's see, I'm running out of room. Yeah, pigmentation's not the best on that one, but you can bet your sweet little pants I will make this work because this color is gorgeous. This one is Lavender Lace, and this is a, are you matte? Yeah, it's a matte purple, like a mid-tone purple. This one doesn't have good pigmentation either. I mean, it's not the worst. I've seen worse, but it's definitely not the best. There it is right there. Sorry, that was a really crappy swatch. Yeah. I'll have to do a look with these because it's so hard to tell just swatching them. This one is Perfect Plum and this one is a satin finish. Yeah, it's alright. I'm kind of disappointed with the purples, but hopefully when I put them on my eyes they'll be good. Yeah, the pigmentation's just not there, but I'm going to try. I was going to try really hard. Two more. I'm saving the best for last. This is Edgy Eggplant, and this is a matte, deep purple. Ugh. Really crappy pigmentation. I think this is the worst one so far. Dang it. Yeah, pigmentation's not good on the purples. So if you're thinking about ordering these, I would maybe... Steer clear of the purples. The taupes and the browns that I have seem to be really, really nice, but just not impressed with the purples. This is the last one. This is Queen's Jubilee. I love this color. Now, this one does have shimmer in it. It's like a satiny, um, not eggplant, indigo color, and then it has some silver shimmer in it. Huh, this is so disappointing because these purples are so pretty. The pigmentation is crap. Yeah. So look at my hand. Oh my gosh, what a mess. But yeah, now I was so excited at the beginning. The taupes and the golds and the browns and the greens have really good pigmentation. But the purples, mm -mm, not the best. Alright guys, so that is it for my Coastal Sense eyeshadows. We were doing so good at the beginning and then we just kind of went downhill with the purples. 
But yeah, let me know if you guys have any Coastal Scents eyeshadows and which are your favorites because I would like to get more. I do definitely think that it's hit or miss. They're either really nice or nah, not so much. But like I said, I have to try them on to get the full, the full idea. The full idea. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.